In this TaxSlayer Pro training video, we're going to discuss creating state returns, deleting state returns, and calculating other state tax credits. I'm in my client's tax return and I'm on the client's 1040 screen. I've already entered in all of the information to complete the federal return. My client shows a federal refund of $972. So now I'm going to take care of the state return. Now my client is a resident of Georgia, but he worked, he earned all of his income in South Carolina. So I'm going to go ahead and click on number 10, state return. I'm reminded to take care of any addbacks or subtractions that are unique to the state that I might be working with that differ from the federal tax laws, things like bonus depreciation, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that message. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Since my client earned all of his money in South Carolina, I'm going to go ahead and choose South Carolina. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the non-resident state first. Again, my client is a resident of Georgia and earned all of his income in South Carolina. So I'm going to take care of the South Carolina form first. I click OK. My client is a South Carolina non-resident. You'll see this menu or one very very similar to it as you enter into each state program in the software. You'll have an option for a resident, a non-resident, and most often a part year resident return as well. So I'm going to select number two, South Carolina non-resident return. And we'll say my client lives in Aiken County. There may be some preliminary steps that you'll need to take on some of the state returns, such as selecting a county, uh, a school district, things of that nature. And so with one mouse click, I basically calculated this client's net refund to be $2,400. I'm going to exit the return. Now, if I needed to delete the South Carolina return for some reason, I would select option number one, delete state return, select OK, place a check in the box for South Carolina, click OK, and the South Carolina return has been deleted. Why would I need to delete a state return in the first place? Well, let's say, for instance, I inadvertently chose the wrong state. Or perhaps my client told me that he was a non-resident when, in fact, he was a resident of a state. In order to change from a non-resident to a resident or a part-year resident to a full-year resident, you need to delete the state first and then just simply recreate the state return. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and recreate that South Carolina non-resident return because what we're going to do is calculate his South Carolina non-resident return. Again, I'll remind you, my client earned all of his income in South Carolina, but he's a resident of Georgia. So what I'm going to let the program do is calculate a state credit in Georgia for the taxes that he paid to South Carolina. And in order for the software to do this, I need to calculate the non-resident or what we call the alien state first. So I'm going to create that South Carolina return. South Carolina non-resident return. My client lived in Aiken County. I click OK. The South Carolina return is complete. I'm going to exit. Now I'm going to calculate the Georgia resident return. So I'm going to select number 11, Georgia. Select OK. And again, as I mentioned, my client is a Georgia resident. I'm going to click number one, Georgia resident long form. Now comes the interesting part. The program asks me, do you want to pull forward current non-resident state tax information? Yes, I do, because I want to calculate the credit in the Georgia return for the taxes that my client paid to South Carolina. So I'm going to answer yes. It's calculated a tax credit for me. The program's taken care of this automatically. So I'm going to exit this credit menu, this computation of other state tax credit. I'm now at the Georgia full year resident tax return menu. Looks like my client has a little bit of 
uh, as a small amount due here. So basically, I've done those two returns, the South Carolina non-resident. I've calculated a credit that my client will receive in Georgia for the taxes that he paid to South Carolina. And then I created and calculated a Georgia full year resident tax return.